Hello there guys and welcome to this quick virtual walk around of this incredibly high spec and awesome looking VW Tiguan R-Line. Now the Tiguan R-Lines in recent years have undertaken a drastic transformation in terms of styling, appearance, respect within the scene and of course market share. They used to be known as the Golf SUV, which wasn't really a fair reflection, but now you can see they truly, truly stand alone and they look absolutely epic. Everything you would expect from VW, seamless body lines, easy transitions between panels, and a such, such an attention to detail. Now I'm gonna give you all the reasons why you should specifically think about having this one on your drive within two days. Here you can see the first off, it's finished in the premium signature paint, the Oryx White. Now that is an 829 pounds from factory and moving down you can see that paint gives it a real real cool finish although it is solid you've got led headlights with led daytime runners you've got your gloss black styling kit you've got your front parking distance control you've got your front fog light and of course you've got your r-line styling which is of course the sharp angular bumpers with the gloss black and chrome as well i mean these aren't just suvs now these are fantastic in all weathers in all condition and they just look so so good they're such a modern take on something that really did need improving now you can also see on here you've got your big 20 inch diamond cut alloy wheels which again really do give it an aggressive stance and posture from the side You've got your R wing just there with the badging. And of course you've got your crown styling all the way across and your real nice sharp flared side skirts and bumpers as well. Just so you can see, there is your R line badging. You've got your body colored door mirrors with the gloss black on the side. And of course up top, you've got the real nice electronic pan roof, which allows, probably not today is the best example, but lots of real nice natural light and air through there which comes of course from the outside gloss black door pillars tinted privacy glass and you can see it's just finished almost exemplary it's just such a cool statement looking car got your aluminium roof rails and you can see you've got your led rear light clusters as well and moving down here you can also see you've got your rear parking distance control and that is of course finished with your chrome styling as well just round back now moving down you've also got your gloss black rear diffuser and your dual exit exhaust just on the left now the old tiguan used to be a little bit ugly from the back and we all know to have a nice car you've got to have a nice big juicy booty now these are nice and square they're not rounded they give it again a real just nice modern concept it looks like an suv it doesn't look like something that's out of place now the boot release is of course just underneath you've got your reverse camera and it opens up and you've got an absolute behemoth of a boot there which you have also got further storage just underneath with your donut wheel and torque it but in terms of storage itself that you can see you've got plenty of room for buggies push chairs luggage and if you don't think you've got enough you can pull this button here and you can fold the seat down and you can also do it with that one there and you can see they automatically fold down giving you loads and loads of room so what we'll do we'll push down these 60 40 seats they fold flat and you can see you've got so much storage for luggage and anything else now what you've also got here is your electronic tow hook so if you pull that button down hey presto hey there you go you've now got a tow bar how cool is that and to get it back in press that button and it will swizzle back up now you have of course got your automatic boot which you can close down and you click the button just on there you've also got your lip spoiler of course on the back that gives it the sports performance with your high level brake lights and you can see the car is in great condition practical to go anywhere at any time with an absolute packed cabin and you've even got room for the caravan to be towed as well so my thoughts on this 
truly truly epic and a car that will most definitely keep even the hardest to please happy practical for any weather any condition and available now at emerald house of cars but we're not done there quite yet let me get inside and show you some more of the tremendous spec that this tiguan can offer you as its potential new owner so the interior of the tiguan is absolutely mega flat bottom steering wheel big digital touch screen air conditioning dsg sports mode you've got all different things in here and of course you've got the absolutely epic race cloth interior now that is just one thing apart from the wet that's dripped in from the pan roof that looks absolutely immense it is manual seating but it just looks amazing it's for a car of its size it really has got a small compact yet sporty interior so moving around onto the door card you can see you've got that nice leather here with the white contrast stitching you've also got your heated electrically adjustable and folding mirrors with your electric windows and deadlock you've got the real nice satin with the chrome and you've also got your deadlocks and you've got your remote boot release just here you've got your illuminated door inlay just there and you can see you've got your automatic lighting settings here as well so being a keyless entry car you can of course open the doors without the key and you can click this little gizmo here and that of course will turn it on for you now it does give you a temperature warning if it is cold of which it is right now and we're going to turn that aircon off because we can't hear ourselves think but it's just a really really well spec car now if you've got your driver profile set you'll see you can choose and of course you've got the great big virtual cockpit right in the dash which is such a cool feature now that so many different people want it until it was a thing nobody realized how incredible it would be but you can see it's real nice high contrast real nice resolution real big wide map view with all the road names and everything which of course you can decipher how far in or not you are but it just looks ace it takes all your focus away from looking anywhere else other than what's directly in front of you now in order to control the instrument cluster menu you use the menu on the right here as you can see you can change you can zoom in and out you can go right the way in or you can click on the view button just there and that will of course change it to shorten the screen give you your mpg your bluetooth your mileage or it will bring up the gauges as well it's just so so stacked now you can click the down option of course and that will change it again or you can click across on the menu buttons just here next to the ok now this is obviously because you've got your lane departure warning on you can see your lane but you've also got your different driving data which of course you've got your overview your range your add blue range your speed your road time recognition your oil temperature your trip your consumption and your overview again but you can scroll across vehicle status that would tell you if there's any issues such as low fuel your doors are open or you needed to top up your ad blue you've got your bluetooth telephone you've got your audio and again back to navigation now the assist systems you can see you've got lane assist speed assist acc speed limiter front assist and you can go back as well and going back it's just an absolutely stacked roster in terms of different functions and what you can do for me it's one of the most stylish cockpits out there and one that you should really really take control of you've also got down here you've got your fuel and you've got your temperature just here and this one down there gives you what gear you are in so if you take it out of park you can see you're in drive you can click your gear stick down and you're in sport or you can change and you can do it the opposite way and it will go into m which is manual so what else have you got on your steering wheel you have of course got your cruise control you've got your radar and you've got your volume control just there down here you've got your r emboss logo with the white contrast stitching and on this side again you've got your voice control which you will need to activate from a dealer as it tells you just on there you will need to activate it by getting an activation key from vw you've got your instrument cluster menu up and down and different views as well now on that side you've got your automatic wiper settings you've also got your paddle shift which is of course used for optimum driving performance and you've got your lighting and high beam just there and moving down across from that you can see you've got the gorgeous touchscreen navigation now what this does will show you from the start 
you've obviously got your radio here of which you can see on there you've got DAB you've got FM and you've got AM now for anybody that's got any taste or any modernality about them you of course know if you've got DAB FM and AM are quite clearly redundant you've also got media here but if you click on the sources you can see you've got so many options again CD navigation which is obviously a USD card but you can change it you've got your second slot you've got two USBs you've got Bluetooth audio you've got auxiliary and you've got WLAN just there as well you can also click on selection and that will change it and give you a larger menu to choose from click on Bluetooth telephone click on find mobile and hey presto bang on just like Ryan did with his iPhone you're able to talk and text on the go voice control as we've said you need the activation key but you can bring up your nav on here as well click on map and it takes you out of the instrument cluster and on to your big touch screen there really really simple to use if you click on new destination and it will bring up your menu and you can put on exactly where you need to go which is pretty straightforward and we can't be any easier than that you can click on view you can see you've got 3d 2d day night split screen you've got so many options and sub menus that it's pretty pretty unbelievable you've also got the app connect which is of course android auto apple carplay and mirror link and you can click on car and you can click on settings and you can go through this sub menu too so you've got electronic stability you've got your tires so you can put winter tires and set your speed warning which in weather like this is absolutely crucial you've got your personalization which is your driver profile you've also got your different lighting dynamic lights dynamic cornering automatic headlights in rain convenience signals i mean you've just got so many different options driver assistance you've got adaptive cruise front assist lane assist road display traffic recognition driver alert proactive occupant like i say vw have made this they're probably one of the safest cars that is out there parking and maneuvering you've got park pilot you've of course got all your different parking sensors as well rear camera you've got background lighting mirrors wiping you've also got your opening and closing settings it's just absolutely stacked with things that you can change i mean cars didn't used to come with this many options and gizmos but now it seems the more the more standard it's just absolutely crazy what comes on these if you click on service the most important one you'll see it's not due for another 20,100 mile or just under a year if you click on menu that'll bring up everything we've just been through in greater detail as well as car net images settings and you go on air conditioning and you get a real nice graphic to sort you out with your climate control now speaking of which you can move down here and you can do it the old school way which is what i prefer you've got your temperature gauges here which is obviously dual zone so you can see you can turn it right down for the good lady in the passenger seat and right up for the man who's always in the doghouse in the driver's seat you've also got your heated seats for him and for her you've got your air distribution so you can put it on yourself and you can put it on the windscreen you can put it on just yourself on your body your feet and you can set it to recirculate you've also got max which again in this winter weather is ideal for clearing your windscreen and your rear screen you can rest it you can change the distribution of the airflow by this dial here or you can put it on auto which means it will do it itself now if you have had enough of being cold in the passenger seat and you want to be like the driver click sync and it will automatically sync to the driver's heating you can also change your max air conditioning or if it's an old school heater setup now just under there you can see you've got your usb auxiliary and bluetooth just down there to plug in and you've also got a 12 volt charger now the centerpiece of any tiguan or any vw is of course the dsg gearbox as it lovely says so right on there now the DSG is obviously the automatic gearbox which gives you the utmost control and a fantastic smooth delivery of gears and different transitions but around that you've also got your driving modes which of course this doesn't have DCC but you've got eco normal sport and individual now if you click on individual you'll see you have an option to change it and that means you can change your steering to sport your drive to sport your aircon to eco your cornering light to sport your aircon to eco 
and you can have that now that is set up for the optimum performance but for me it's easier just to click sport you've got auto start stop on and off you've also got your parking assist just here so if you click on there you can see if you indicate and you get into reverse gear you have your park pilot system and as soon as you do that you also have your reverse camera pop up too you've got your audible parking sensors and on this side you've got your electronic parking brake and auto hold now in order to use the gearbox a few people do get quite confused so if you don't click the button on the back you'll see foot on the brake you cannot move the gear there is a lever just here and if you press that down you'll see the gear that you're in will be illuminated reverse neutral and drive so if you want it in reverse it's down one click and you'll know again because your camera pops up if you're in neutral your camera may be up but you'll see that on your instrument cluster it will come up as n put it down into d and that means you're in drive now what you saw there was S, so what that means is the sport setup. So you hold it down again, click it down, and you can see that now you're in S1. Now what that'll do is that'll give you an uprated throttle response, a higher rev ratio, and it'll give you a sharper change in between gears, but it will remain fully automatic. If you wish to control the ratio yourself, you've got two options. You can change with the paddles straight away using these, and that will automatically register on there when your car is moving or what you can do is you can get your gear stick you can knock it to the left and now you'll see you're in m1 meaning manual so not only do you use your paddle shift which is left which is to go down the gears right to go up the gears but you've also got the option to change it on the gearbox itself to give it a more manual feel and an old school bit of nostalgia so to change the gears up when you're driving you get to your high rev you click it up if you wish to change down you pull it down now this can be quite confusing and i would honestly say it's good but it's not as effective as paddle shift because you're taking your hands off the wheel you're not fully focused on what's ahead of you whereas with paddle shift you're able to keep both hands on the wheel make great progress and you can really effortlessly just click up and down so good feature but not as good as the normal one and moving down there in case in the black you can also see you've got a mass of storage with two cup holders and you have of course got your sliding armrest just here in the vienna leather with the white stitching pull that back open it up and you've got an absolute mass of storage in there too and you do of course have your panoramic roof which is just here which will show you how to operate now but we're not going to open it fully because it's a little bit cold so these two buttons here obviously with the arrows pointing north and south they open your sunblind which is quite effortless click it once and you can see it opens it up really really nice with that glass roof but it is raining a bit here at the minute as you can see so i'm not going to get the interior of the car wet but if you do want a video of it opening do let us know and we'll send you on as soon as it dries up now in order to open the panoramic roof you would usually hold this button back and that will open the roof for you and that will allow it to bring in some natural light and natural air now it is a really really nice feature and of course if you've got kids every kid loves a pan roof because they can see all the sky and if you're anything like marlit then it helps them get to sleep but that really is everything that i can show you on this epic tiguan r-line it's a car that i'm very fond of I think it's one of the best looking cars that we've actually ever had in here and that takes a lot because i'm not an suv fan but if you're still not convinced just remember that every single car here at emerald is treated to the 128 point check prior to retailing that just means that our on-site rac approved center has gone through the car with the finest of fine tooth combs both cosmetically and mechanically we also service every car that comes in to save any confusion or cross-contamination in products and we mot it if there's anything less than six months remaining on the mot so if you've got any questions regarding finance or part exchange do get in touch with the award-winning team green and we're more than happy to help thanks ever so much for watching and we'll hopefully speak to you very soon